Berlin. Like hardly any other metropolis in Europe, the German capital has been experiencing a boom for years. Tourists are pouring into the city. Young people from around the world come here to live. The city's mayor once described it as being poor but sexy. And he's right. Berlin really is very poor in places. And yet what makes this city so interesting? Russian writer Vladimir Kamina has been living here since the 1990s, and his books always center on life in the capital city. He frequently has to travel, and when he does, he gets homesick for Berlin after three days. For him, the city is something akin to a social trendsetter. One can envision Berlin from, from, uh, from not Berlin. It's become impossible to distinguish Berliners from non-Berliners. Everybody here looks like a tourist. In a way, they are tourists. The whole country is on a trip to a new future, a new union, a new Europe. And much of what is politically dubious or economically fragile has long since been cultural reality. I think this new European unity at a cultural level, at the level of the people, has worked very well. Culture, subculture. The city's museums are famous the world over. But what attracts young people, compared to other big cities, are funky events like park karaoke, the cheap rents, the music scene and nightlife. The freedom to do what you like has many facets. When people can sit on the lawn in front of the Reichstag building holding alcoholic drinks, I think that's proof that the people have the power here, that people are self-confident enough that they're no longer afraid of their own government. I think that's a great achievement. Berlin is very colorful. People from over 100 countries live here, and it generally works very well. Superficially, the general tone on the street can be a little rough, but maybe that's why it does work. Straight talking leaves little room for misunderstanding. Ich werde auch, wenn ich ohne Licht fahre mit dem Fahrrad, when I ride my bike without any lights, the first thing you hear is, idiot, and then what the problem is. It's this way of keeping your friendly side locked up, not smothering people with friendliness at every opportunity. That's just not what Berliners are like. Berlin is hard to define. The city is developing fast and keeps reinventing itself. Many people come as tourists, others come to stay. From Germany, from Europe, from around the world. Berlin isn't Germany. But quality of life in Germany is about much more than economic wealth. And that becomes very clear in Berlin. <laughs>